everybody, I'm Bryony Downs for Art Collector Magazine and today I'm Zooming with New Zealand artist Rachel Peary. Welcome Rachel. Hi. <laughs> today we'll be speaking about her painting There is a Sweet Ease for the Full Focus series which is where we focus in on just one work from an artist's practice. Uh, today I'm here in my home on Mawina country in Hobart and where in New Zealand are you joining us from Rachel? Uh, I'm joining you from Kirikiri Roa, it's Hamilton, Waikato. Yep, lovely. Yeah. Um, so let's have a chat about your work, There is a Sweet Ease. Uh, I'll just bring it up on my screen uh, so we can see it together. There we go. So um, this work incorporates materials like uh, cotton and chalk to explore light and translucency. And I think that really comes across really beautifully. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what draws you to these materials and at what point you started working with them? Um, yeah, I started working with them really halfway through art school. And I'm, draw I'm drawn to the cedar because, which is the internal frame and the external frame. Mm -hmm. It's because it's delicious. It smells great when you sand it. Um, yeah. But it's also a really beautiful light um, timber and quite stable um, and cotton and chalk. Yeah, cotton, I've been working with cotton and silks for most of my practice. Um, I prefer it over canvas mm -hmm. um, and and chalk's actually quite a recent thing. So I'm um, happy with my second child at the moment. So I'm having a baby in a few months mm -hmm. and there's a practicality in a way to a medium like chalk that um, acrylic um, and oils and things like that can sometimes be a little bit impractical if you've got time and body constraints so chalk was a really nice medium to start playing with and the exploration of what it means to be an artist and a mother um, during pregnancy so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah um so you've said that when uh, you're making your work, uh, you focus on destabilizing conventions of painting and installation. Can you elaborate on why this is important to you and how a work like There is a Sweet Ease disrupts what we would normally expect to see in a painting? Yeah, um, I'd probably say that um, destabilizing those conventions is more of a byproduct of just my natural curiosity around the materials they use mm -hmm. so um i guess i was drawn when i first started learning how to stretch canvas over um frames this beautiful timber got lost um and just became this secondary thing that held support for the surface mm -hmm. and my curiosity was just what it would be like to actually invite that into the dialogue about the painting um, and yeah in this work in particular there's um, the work that's folded and stuffed behind the, the stretched surface the stretched cotton has a painting on it as well so it's a painting that is protected by another painting mm -hmm. and a frame that you can engage with and see that's also then protected by another frame so it's just a painting in a painting and a frame in a frame Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which um yeah I don't think often that hierarchy of material is um intentionally used often um and it's something that less wanting to state that and like I want to destabilize a painting but more I just want to honor the hierarchy or, or invite the frame to become a part of the work yep. yeah 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 makes sense it does, yeah. absolutely. Um, especially with this work, uh, it, it seems so, so delicate, uh, almost like uh, looking at veins through skin. Um, can you talk me through, you kind of have touched on this already. Uh, can you talk me through how you create a work that appears so delicate and how you avoid overworking the surface? Like, how do you know when to <laughs> stop? Because <laughs> um, they do appear so light. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Um, I, I have quite a kind of a rhythmic process to making work. Um, and my art kind of 
becomes like um well my my art, art practice is like a a diaristic practice for me so it's something that I show up to um in a quite routine rhythmic way and so when I get to the point in my painting in my practice where I paint I'll often have um anywhere from five to 20 surfaces all ready to go and I will um explore them all at the same time and I've found that allows me to engage with them in a really kind of in a momentary way so that I can make a mark or a gesture or explore um, um, that surface whatever medium I'm choosing to use and then I can make that one sit aside while I then approach the next and it's quite a um yeah it's just like this little play and dance when I make marks that I do it all at once like this my studio or at the moment I'm making in my lounge and in my dining room and it just is this chaos of surfaces around me <laughs> um and that just affords me the ability to make marks without just oh, he too he being too heavy-handed with one painting in particular I guess mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so yeah. Where, where do you source your cotton and silk from um there's a few stores around New Zealand sometimes I have to actually travel down to Wellington which is quite a distance from me um I'm very tactile and um I just want to pick it up and touch it so ordering it off the internet just doesn't work same with the cedar I am um, there's a big factory of wood that I get to go and look and touch and smell the timbers and pull them out and look at the grain and make that choice so that's when I want to invite into a body of work so everything I sort of hand source and touch and spend time with before I engage with it in a in a way that alters its natural state I guess or acquired state. Mm -hmm. So it's like a complete tactile sensory experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 I um it's been always how I've done things it's very hard for my parents as a child that I wanted to touch and smell and look at everything so, yeah <laughs> yeah okay um well we might leave it there uh Rachel thank you so much for chatting with me today uh about your work there is a sweet ease till next time thank you